Hi guys, uh, thanks for the uh, 3,000 members uh, at Native Lighting. Um, we do appreciate you guys uh, helping us out uh, and also enjoying our products. Um, it's been a brilliant few years, how many years we've been open now. I think it's been about nearly three. And it's been amazing. Um, all, the all of you guys' support, what you've given us throughout those years. Um, as for that, we've obviously got some products which we will be releasing in the next couple of months. Uh, we have released one product today, which is the new image screens. And I'm just going to give you a little uh, tutorial on how to set these up, uh, as it can be quite complicating if you're new to this sort of stuff. Um, so what you want to do, first of all, is you want to go to the image screen file and download it what Josh has put on here, just click the download button and it should download uh, to your downloads folder. Before we do that, let's just open up a new uh, base plate on Roblox. Um, don't know what my stream is going to be like because this computer is slowly dying, but yeah. Um, so you've got your new base plate open, you want need to go and download the file, so I've downloaded it already, so I just need to drag that into there, just like so. Um, so this is like the, your default kind of setting type thing of how it's all presented and then you can just add it onto your stage however you wish. Uh, so to add images to the screen what you need to do is, I'll put this in the link in the description as well, uh, but you need to open up the create a decal sec decal, I don't know you say it, decal decal. Um, you need to open this up in Roblox, you just click create and then find decals which is there near experiences in your creations tab and then what you need to do is click choose file I've got a few photos I I'm going to try out so I've got my old DBL festivals logos which call this test that should then say you have successfully created it, let's just create, put my other one in <sighs> just like so. You can see here it's added the two images into my list so what you need to do is click on one of them uh, and at the top of your page in your URL section you see this little these numbers here just copy that go back into Roblox click on the image in your workplace section open up the UI and then it is in main and then inside the images folder we need to create a decal just like so and where it says texture in your property section you need to paste that in like that and hit enter and that has added the first image to the screen we could do another one just like so and I'll paste in the other one copy that and paste it into the texture bit so now you've got your two decals you can add as many of these as you wish uh, what you need to do is obviously uh, save your game to Roblox Should, shouldn't take too long Once that's done, you can enable HTTP requests. I'm going to enable the Studio Access API services because if you have other products which you use, uh, especially our native fixtures requires it, so I just have it default enabled, just like so. And as you'd see, that is done now. We can just file and publish it. Successfully published, so if we can play here, we should see our two images. I'm fairly new to this as well, so if this doesn't work fully, then yeah, that why, that explains why. But as you can see, they have uploaded. You can obviously rename uh, what what it's called. So I've just left it as decal for now because that's what it's called. So if I click on, it gives you our default image screen type thing for you to mess around with. If you click it, you can see it 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 works just like that, and you can do different effects. So we've got snap. Uh, we've got a fade, I think it is, yep, and a slide. You can also adjust the s how fast it goes, so you could 
have a nice little fade like that it's going to a different uh, a different image you can also adjust the brightness it seems and you can clear it as well so that will go to like a blackout and then you can choose your next one just like so and as we said you can add as many images as you wish uh, you just do the same thing what you do what you do like that um, and yeah that's pretty much it that is how you use our LED uh, images, image screens. Uh, I believe it's 50% off at the minute to buy these, so it should cost you about 50 Robux if you want to uh, purchase these. Um, so yeah, if you uh, enjoyed this product, let us know in the review section of our server. Um, we do look in here quite frequently at the different things you said as, as people are enjoying them. and Some people are struggling to set them up, but uh, that is what this video was for uh, to help you guys set up these um, product this product properly but yes my name is George and it has been a pleasure uh, working at native lighting for however many years it's been now and I do try my best to st stay on active even though I've been extremely busy with uh, work and college and all sorts so it's been nice to come back and celebrate with you guys for the 3,000 members um, last thing I wanted to say, hopefully in August time, 15th, 10th to the 15th of August, I am starting a new series of my in real life lighting series. So this would be going from lighting to sound. So we're going through DMX and just the basics because I knew some of you guys from the poll I did and one of the events which I, pub I published on to Native. Um, that you guys want to see some more of in real lighting stuff which I do um, which I'm more than happy to share with you guys um, but if you have any other questions uh, do let us know at the minute our ticket bot is down but that should be back up by the end of today um, but for now just let us know in live support just give me a ping and I will uh, get back to you um, but yeah thank you very much guys it's been brilliant and I will see you in the next video cheers <laughs>